Hey there, Chinlock Nation. This is your pal, Brodzilla. My apologies. I know this is long overdue, but we are finally here with your Chinlock for Charity review, so let's get right into it. The event starts with legendary television personality and the voice of Canadian pop culture from the early 90s straight into the 2000s, Bill Wolitschka, welcoming fans to the Time Denega Mohawk territory. The event also served as the stage for a Bill Wolitschka documentary, and if you haven't yet, make sure to get a copy of Bill's book, A Happy Has Been. Seems like a pretty humble title. That's probably because the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be was already taken. Make sure to get a copy now, wherever books are sold. Bill, having you announce my name as ring announcer, shaking your hand, and having you hand me the mic was an incredibly special moment, and I cannot thank you enough. Now let's get into the action. The first match of the event saw Dino Benjamin with his associate Chaz Lovely defending his coveted Kale Murphy Memorial Championship against Carter Mason. Plenty of back and forth in this match, but it was Carter Mason that took an early advantage and could have been seen as a favorite to win. But Dino dug deep and with a little help from Chaz Lovely was able to retain his Kale Murphy Memorial title. For now. But more on that later. The second match on the card was a triple threat tag team match for the Chinlock Tag Team Championships. And folks, this one lived up to the hype. But as we all know, the card is subject to change. Unfortunately, brother Polly Platinum was unable to attend, which left KL Shock to single-handedly defend the tag titles against Freak Nation and Fear the Beard. That is, until one of the senior members of Chinlock's rookie class, Jerry Atrick, laced up his boots in an attempt to help KL Shock retain his Chinlock Tag Team Championships. It's not often you consider the champs the underdogs, but when you're toe-to-toe, toe-toe, with two of Canada's most established independent tag teams, it can be a tough obstacle to overcome. With this match filled with non-stop action, it was anybody's game. But when all was said and done, it was Freak Nation that reigned supreme as your new, and in my opinion, long overdue, Chinlock Tag Team Champions. The next match on the card was the fan favorite 17-man Chinlock Rumble to determine the number one contender for the coveted Kale Murphy Memorial Championship. The first entrant into this match was the hometown hero and recent graduate of Seth Rollins' Black and Brave Wrestling Academy, the prodigy, Sean Murphy. And the man that drew number two, one of the Independent Wrestling Academy's fastest rising, most dangerous stars, Max Carnage. The match also featured the talents of Chaz Lovely, Ryan Rogan, and Cheeky. Announcing number six was a personal highlight of mine, as we have had a lot of back and forth over the last few years. That competitor being one of the most decorated athletes in Chinlock's history, Mr. CJ Fowler. Stay tuned to the end of the show to see CJ initiate me into the Chinlock and pro wrestling family. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. Also featured in the match were Jack Russell, the voice of Chinlock Wrestling Sideshow, Frankie Mac, Misery the Barbarian, and in one of the highlights of the entire show, the man who came back from the dead, Pain the Hellraiser. To make the moment even more special, Pain was met with a warm embrace from longtime frenemy, Misery the Barbarian, in the middle of the ring, which was followed by the tandem dominating and providing both Pain and misery to their opponents. The final few competitors in this match consisted of Strongbow Patterson, Kemp Kendrick, Danny Franchise, Carl LeDuc, Barrick the Kingston Frontenac's mascot, and Ray St. John. Now, Ray St. John was supposed to come out at pick 16, but in true Ray St. John fashion, he does whatever Ray St. John wants to do and came out one spot early to make his presence felt and scout the competition in the match. As competitors were eliminated, we made our way to the match's final three, which consisted of Sean Murphy, Barrick the Bear, and with a little help from hardcore legend Tommy Dreamer, who would be featured in the night's main event, Ray St. John officially entered the Chinlock Rumble. The team of Sean Murphy and Barrick the Bear made very quick work of the heavily disgruntled Ray St. John, and taking advantage of a vulnerable Sean Murphy, Barrick the Bear tossed the prodigy over the top rope to win the match and become number one contender for the coveted Kale Murphy Memorial Championship. But just who was it that was under that mask? None other than Dino Benjamin's right-hand man and partner in crime, Chaz Lovely. Will Chaz lay down for Dino and help him retain? Or will he make the most of this opportunity and potentially become the next Kale Murphy Memorial Champion? Only one way to find out. Stay tuned to Chinlock Wrestling. Up next, in a match normally reserved for the main event, Sam Kelly defended her Chinlock Heavyweight Championship against Wanda Del Rey, Vanna Black, and Chinlock's very first heavyweight champion, Jesse Mack. The cards were stacked against Sam Kelly from the get-go, as her three opponents had made a brief alliance in an attempt to remove her from the title picture. However, that alliance was short-lived, as there could only be one champion crown. Sam Kelly would eventually overcome the odds in a true championship caliber match and retain her Chinlock Heavyweight Championship. The next match was a dream match, not just for the fans in attendance, but for me to even be a part of. In a battle of Goliaths, 
one of independent wrestling's top free agents, the natural Nick Sullivan, accompanied by his abrasive, opinionated, loudmouth of a manager, Rocco, would go head-to-head -head with one of pro wrestling's top in-ring performers and current SmackDown general manager, the national treasure, Nick Aldis, in a classic pro wrestling match. These two competitors brought the best out of their opponents, and despite outside interference from Sullivan's manager, Rocco, Nick Aldis would be crowned victorious with an assist from his amazingly beautiful, extremely talented wife and pro wrestling legend, Mickey James. And last but certainly not least, the main event featured hardcore legend and Impact's digital media champion, Tommy Dreamer, defending his title against the powerhouse known as Khan in an extreme rules match with special guest enforcer, officiating legend, Earl Hebner. This match was off the rails from the get-go and was filled with total non-stop action. It had tables, it had chairs, it had hockey sticks, the cross sticks, garbage cans. If it was at ringside, it was used as a weapon. After the in-ring official was left unresponsive after being in the wrong place at the wrong time, Khan put Tommy Dreamer in a sharpshooter and demanded that special guest enforcer Earl Hebner call through a bell. Hebner's refusal to screw over Tommy Dreamer to end the match infuriated Khan, leading to him disrespecting the officiating legend's decision. And then, in an act of self-defense, Earl struck Khan, leading to Dreamer hitting the DDT picking up the 1-2-3 and retaining his Impact Digital Media Championship. This being my first live Chinlock event in front of 400 fans in Times Mega Mohawk territory, raising just over $8,000 for the local food bank, was an amazing experience and a dream come true. There are so many people to thank for this experience. Uh, starting with Jane, Shane and Ron for getting my crew where we needed to go, and uh, Janet and Kevin for helping make the show a huge success. Huge thanks to host Bill Walichka, uh, Riley and Sideshow on commentary, and Danny Franchise who supplied the soundtrack for the evening. Big thank you to Care for having me involved with the social media for the event, and uh, to my boys at Rassle This for the warm welcome. Check them out on YouTube. Thank you to TJ Champagne Photography for allowing me to use some of your photos. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Rees for my first t-shirt and your continued support. And uh, thanks to my buddy RJ for allowing me to sign my first autograph. Thank you to Cigar Chief and the fine folks in Time Denega Mohawk Territory for hosting the event. And thank you to the legends Brutus Beefcake, Tonka, Khan, Earl Hebner, Nick Aldis, and Mickey James for creating a once in a lifetime opportunity for so many people. Thank you to all the talent involved and to the students at the Independent Wrestling Academy. And thank you to anyone who took time for a conversation or a hug or a handshake. Especially Sam Kelly, Jesse Mack, Payne the Hellraiser, and Nick Sullivan for welcoming me into the locker room with open arms. And to Sean Murphy for the kind words after the event. Thank you to the people of Belleville, Napanee, Kingston, and everywhere in between for making me feel at home. Thank you to the Chinlock Nation for your continued support, and thank you to Your TV Kingston for once again helping take Chinlock Wrestling to the next level. If there's anyone I'm forgetting, please know that this opportunity meant the world to me, and that your part, no matter how big or small, contributed to the success of the events and my experience. Which brings me to my final three. CJ Felony. Thank you for taking me under your wing in the locker room, allowing me to run the ropes and take my first bump, and for your continued support throughout the years. Jan Murphy. Thank you for making this opportunity possible. Without you, there is no Chinlock Wrestling. Thank you for making my family a part of your family. Tommy Dreamer. Without you, Chinlock Wrestling isn't what it is today. Everybody I talked to had an amazing Tommy Dreamer story, and now I have my own. Thank you for the advice, for the peek behind the curtain, and most of all, thank you for what you give back to pro wrestling. That's it for me, Chinlock Nation. Stay tuned for news and updates on Chinlock's upcoming event, Holiday Havoc, taking place in December. Kingston, I love you, I miss you, I hope to be back soon. Alright, as promised, here's my initiation video into the Chinlock family, courtesy of CJ Felony. I'm Brodzilla, see you next time. Oh, man. oh thanks buddy. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Godspeed, Brodzilla.